Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel. We talk all about gate. Welcome back, and we are studying DBMS, and we have understood what normalization is, how normalization is, and now we are trying to understand what normal forms are. In the previous video, we have understood the first normal form, the very basic one, which is the implicit requirement of a basic relation. Okay, so that is that has nothing to do with any type of functional dependencies. I mean, no functional dependency is playing any role in defining first normal form. Neither the key or candidate key is playing any role in defining the uh, first normal form. But now onwards, uh, each of these, I mean, like basically functional dependency, the main tool will be utilized fully to define the further normal form. So let's quickly start with the next normal form that is second normal form 2nf just let me give you the definition a relation is said to be in 2nf if and only if it should be in 1nf already okay definitely it should be a properly defined relation 1nf uh, we have seen what is the definition of 1nf that a relation should not have any multi valued attributes that means across the column and the row there should be always a single value Okay, and uh, this is the basic definition of being 1NF and this is exactly the requirement of having said that it is a relation. Okay, so uh, if a relation, that means if a table has to be defined, that if a table has to be in 2NF, then first of all it should be in 1NF. Okay, done. It should be in 1NF. Second condition, it should not contain partial dependency. Interesting. It should not. If you remember from the pref, in the last video, we had said that 1NF has partial dependency. Okay, Because 1NF was not talking about the type of dependency. It was saying, okay, whatever the functional dependency set is, let it be as it is. Whatever type of functional dependency they are, I don't care about them. I just care about the schema, the domain of the attributes, the type of the attribute, the nature of the attributes. Okay. So that was the concerned area when we talk about 1NF. But now when we come here, we say, first of all, it should be in 1NF. Second, it should not contain partial dependency. Okay. So now is the, exactly the time when I have to show you what a partial dependency is. Partial dependency, I mean, it's nothing, uh, something new. It just, you have seen every time you have seen uh, multiple types of functional dependency i mean multiple functional dependencies not type i should say but you have seen multiple uh, functional dependency set which is f so many in many questions we have seen them and we have seen a lot of functional dependencies defined in a set of f okay now uh, those functional dependencies we will categorize okay and the very first category we are putting them is in uh, we are putting them in is partial dependency okay so let's just take one very simple example to define you what partial dependency is let me take you one example where we have a relation r with three attributes a b and c okay and the function de functional dependency defined over this relation r is f where we say a b determines c and B determines C. Let's uh, quickly take its instance. I'm just creating a small instance. Suppose we have all the three attributes A, B and C and I'm giving them value. So here uh, supposing it is 1, it is 2, it is X and this is 2, 1, Y and so let's take next one as like it's 3, it's 2 and it's X again and so on there are some data okay so this is the very basic relation schema and a small relation stands with the functional dependency set so now if in this relation if i have to find out the key of the relation what that should be key of the relation let's just quickly find out let's take a b plus a b plus gives you a b c can you replace anything with a b i mean can you take off a or b from here no a plus gives you nothing but then only a and b plus gives you only b c but it doesn't give you a okay and if i take c plus c plus gives you only c so what is key here a b is the key together okay so 
So that is the candidate key, and because it's a single candidate key in this relation, so that only will be taken as primary key also. Now, one thing let me tell you here: uh, the two terms, uh, one is prime attribute, the other is non-prime attribute. So every attribute which is part of any candidate key is known as prime attribute. Okay. Again, any any attribute which is part of uh, every attribute which is part of any any candidate key, okay, is known as prime attribute, also known as key attribute, okay. And every attribute which is not part of any candidate key is known as non-prime attribute or non-key attribute. Okay. So two terms uh, I have told you here. One is prime attribute. other is non prime attribute okay the prime attribute could also be said as key attribute and non prime attribute could also be said as non key attribute okay so it could also be non key attribute okay so yeah so here for this relation we have just seen what is the key a b is a key so what is prime attribute or key attribute so let me just say key attributes are a and b and what is non key attribute the non key attribute is nothing but then only c okay so now let's come to the partial dependency before coming to the partial dependency in the terms of definition let me show you the partial dependency here here in this schema or in this relation instance ab is a key okay these two together makes up the key but you see whenever ab is uh, ab is determining the value of c so 1 2 determines the value of x 2 1 determines the value of y 3 2 determines the value of x but if you see internally that it's not only 1 2 who is determining the value of x it's 2 also who is determining the value of x in the pair of 1 2 the value of b is 2 again in the pair of 3 2 the value of b is 2 so by not looking at 3 2 i can also say only by looking at 2 that it is x here right because b determines the value of c and i have seen before in one tuple that when b is 2 c is x so certainly if b is 2 here then c is x here this thing is known as partial dependency that when a non prime attribute is dependent on part of key a non prime attribute is dependent on part of key or a non prime attribute is dependent on a prime attribute which is not key itself okay then this dependency is known as partial dependency so let me uh, show it here again that uh, if non prime attribute is dependent on part of key so part of key could also be said as i mean this is part of key or candidate key so part of candidate key means proper subset of candidate key when there is a dependency of this nature then that is known as partial dependency clear i repeat it once again whenever a non prime attribute also known as non key attribute is dependent on part of the candidate key okay in other words which is dependent on primary attribute or key attribute again here i mean by saying prime attribute or key attribute is that that attribute itself is not candidate key that attribute is only part of the candidate key if such dependency is present in your relation then that dependency is known as partial dependency if such partial dependency is present in your relation then it is not in 2nf so clear here this dependency is partial dependency and so this relation is not in 
2NF. Is not in 2NF means it is in 1NF. Okay. So here once again I am uh, formally defining the partial dependency which I just explained with an example. So if your dependency is x to a then with the help of small Venn diagram I can say that this big circle is my key set or set of all the key attributes. Okay, All the keys are here. Out of this key set this x is present in it. Okay, But it's not a key itself it's a part of the key. Okay, This key x is part of the key and it is determining a where a is non key attribute set i mean it could be a single attribute it could be group of attribute but all the attributes will be certainly non key attribute that means non prime attributes again in terms of words i we can say a relation is said to have partial dependency if a non key primary attribute is dependent on some partial part of key attribute set. Same thing again and again. Okay, and such partial dependency, if at all present in a relation R, then that relation is not in 2NF. So for a relation to be in 2NF, it should be free from partial dependency. It should be already in 1NF and also it should not have any partial dependency. At the same time, in other words, I can say any relation which have partial dependency is straightforward, not in 2NF or it is in 1NF. Okay, now let's quickly solve a question uh, where we will try to find out that this relation, given relation, is in which normal form. Because we have not understood all the normal forms, we have understood two types so far. So, and those are 1NF and 2NF. So let's check that this relation is in which of the two form or is it in both, right? So uh, a relation is given, functional dependency set is given because the tool is, what is our tool? The tool is functional dependency set and how we are going to use it? By finding out the key of the relation so that we know what is the prime attribute, what is the non-prime attribute, right? So we have to find out all the candidate keys possible over the given relation. So let's do that. For this, let's start uh, with AB plus. Let's take the closure of AB plus. With this, it gives AB, C. C gives D. So AB closure finds out AB, C, D. Check its super key. Is it key or not? A plus gives you A, C, D. But not B. B plus gives you only B. Okay? So none of the proper subset of it is a key. So this is a key. I mean, uh, none of the proper subset is super key. So this itself is super key, also the candidate key. Do we have any other? Let's replace A by, if it is on the right hand side rule. Mm, no, not even B. It has only one key and the key is AB. So what is a prime attribute set definitely A and B both are prime attribute. What is non-prime attribute set? Whatever is left over. So out of A, B, C, D, A, B are prime. So C, D are non-prime. So C, D are non-prime. Okay, now quickly because we know what is prime, what is non-prime. So now we will just go on the functional dependency set and check for each functional dependency whether it is partial dependency or not. A, B to C. A, B determines the value of C and A, B is the key itself so this is not partial dependency. C to D. This is non-prime, this is non-prime, non-prime determining non-prime. So far we have not seen the another type of fun, uh, functional dependency. So for this we cannot say anything. Okay, but this is certainly not a consideration for these two type of normal forms. Okay, third, A to C, A is prime attribute and C is non-prime attribute and so this becomes, A to C becomes partial dependency. Part of the key is determining the value of non-prime attribute. That is exactly what we have seen in partial dependency and if and if a relation has partial dependency then certainly it is not in 2NF. 
okay so this is in 1 nf but this is not in 2 nf for this relation r so we have seen what a second normal form is how do we define it what is partial dependency in fact we have uh, take an example to understand the second normal form and partial dependency better. So how to find out the uh, normal form of the relation we have seen it. Quickly in the next video I am going to explain you what is third normal form and what, are, what is the type of dependency which define the third normal form. Okay. Till then don't go anywhere and uh, do share the video with your friends. I will see you very soon. Bye bye.